I think that that's going to do it for old injuries at running back. Let's talk about some new ones. First up, Carlos Hyde okay. is probably the ad of the week. Um, Chris Carson injured his foot. He has a mid foot sprain considered week to week. Uh, quote said he will miss some time. Uh, Carlos Hyde went 15 for 68 and one score on the ground. Plus, he also had three catches for eight yards through the air. He's only rostered in 5% of leagues. Woof. He's not he's not great, but the offense is. How much fab are you spend or how much fab are you spending? Not spending, sp- spending. How much fab spending? How much fab are you going to spend? Let's just do some spending on Danucci. Um, <laughs> how much fab are you spending uh, on Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> um so I I read something earlier that uh like I don't know I Chris Carson is just notorious for playing through injuries, apparently, and that they said that he's going to try to give it a go, um, which really th- kind of throws a wrench into this because um, if he wasn't going to play, uh, I I talked last Thursday about Seattle just doesn't run the ball that much. Um, and I will also be on it, like, or especially this year, historically, obviously they have, but they were talking a lot on the Sunday night game about how Seattle's passing at the the highest percentage of passes on first and second down, which is completely the opposite of what they've been historically. Um, To me, Carlos Hyde looked better than Chris Carson did when Chris Carson or when Carlos Hyde was getting the ball Sunday night. Take that for whatever that means. Um, This is tough. I, I don't think you're spending more than. Well. I mean, it, it, it depends if it comes out that Chris Carson's going to be out by the time that you're listening to this tomorrow afternoon or something like that. If Chris Carson's going to be out for three to four weeks, then I would spend like 25 percent of fab. If he's going to try to play on Sunday, then I would spend like 10. OK, so that I'm going to add a wrinkle to your wrinkle. We got wrinkles on wrinkles. Okay. Uh wrinkles the 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 latest thing i've seen from the deep twitter web which is where everybody all oh. of the astute fantasy analysts get all of their news from is the True. potential reactivation of, of uh rashad penny no i was waiting for it and whether or not that happens is it possible it's murky at best if it happened T- I mean, they're talking about rushing him back. Evidently, he's ahead of recovery, but he's like hasn't been activated yet. We got the coach speak of all coach speakers, professional. I like Pete Carroll when he was in college must have dated like five women at the same time because the way that he talks to the media. <laughs> God. You got to think he learned how to sweet talk and he's just been schmoozing his way through life because that's what he does like oh no yeah, it's 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 like he is he is one of the one of those five girlfriends should have told him to run the ball with Marshawn Lynch against the Patriots at the one yard line a couple years well, ago. well he's probably a little stubborn maybe doesn't listen but like mm. Chris Carson's ankle like his foot could have been dangling by tendons and and just hanging there <laughs> And Pete Carroll would say, yeah, I don't know. He's day to day. He could he could play next week. Maybe I mean, you just you don't know. He looks great. <laughs> like like, you know, what it, it reminds me of Monty Python when they're cutting each other's arms off. And it's like, oh, tis but a flesh wound. Tis but a scratch. That's what <laughs> Pete Carroll is like. Everybody's always about to play. Nobody's hurt. It's great. It's very sunshine rainbows. And terrible for analysts. <laughs> So what the hell are you saying? I'm saying that part of me thinks that there's a very outside shot that Carson plays. I would I would be shocked if he played, but not surprised because the guy plays through injury after injury and is notorious for it. I really don't think Penny has a chance. There's just no way. And so that leaves no. you with Hyde, but I don't want him because I don't think Carlos Hyde is very good at football if I'm being 
completely honest. Um, eh, he's a fine backup. <sighs> he had a thousand yards last year. I think more of the issue is he's facing San Francisco this week. That's that's probably more of the immediate concern. Than and anything, they look good. Is your, they look very good. Yeah. I, I still will never understand how they got demolished by Miami um, earlier in the season, but I mean, otherwise they've looked really well. Yeah, so y- I, you don't um, want to start him even if you get him. So no, I would. It's I'm I'm not gonna. I just have already accepted the fact I'm just not gonna get Carlos Hyde, and you know what? That's fine. I don't care because he's not gonna do well for anybody that gets him. I will be shocked if he gets into the end zone. I think that he probably goes for like fab wise i bet he goes for 20 to 30 percent fab and i agree i won't bid more than 10 percent on him because i don't really want him if i'm being honest and i think carson comes back sooner than later and with rashad penny hanging out there you know probably coming back in a week or two then uh yeah i i don't know you're, you're not getting long-term value on Hyde. That's why I threw out the 25% if if Carson's going to be out for a while and you're desperate. Otherwise, you end up in the 10% range for a guy that's a one-week one week fill-in against one of the better defenses in football. Yeah. So it's a it's a tough one. Good, good, good luck if you have to make that decision. Um, I, I personally don't want him and it doesn't sound like Jason does really either. I would also say that they're just throwing the ball so much that, you know, Chris Carson has been a fine running back because of touchdown production. Eventually that touchdown production is going to dry up and it's all going to go to their wide receivers um, just because of how much they're throwing and the opportunities aren't there. Why would Carlos Hyde get more opportunities than Chris Carson was already, which wasn't much. So yeah, for that reason, um, 10%, but somebody's probably going to outbid you. Oh, yeah. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.